Hi friends! <laughs> Today's video is going to be a torrid inside the dressing room try on. Um, I actually already filmed, I forgot to do an intro and an outro, so I'm gonna be in the same spot both times. But um, I know I just filmed a torrid try on haul at my home, but I decided to actually take those two dresses back. I really, really loved both of them, but I just feel like there were two things with each item that I just didn't love and I feel like a lot of you rose the same point of like if they're going to be frustrating to wear if you add two extra things like are you going to wear them or they're just going to hang in your closet and that is a huge problem of mine so I decided to take them back just because they were really pricey and I didn't want to waste them so you're going to see all the different items that I did try on and they weren't really having any too crazy of sales I think it was buy one get one 50% off um but I did find a lot of the really, there were so many pretty things, and I feel like Torrid online doesn't do it justice. I feel like in person, the items just look really, really, just way better. They look way better. There's more detail to them. Um, the weight of the material, everything just looks better in person, and I think Torrid does that great. Like, the details they put in each item are so perfectly placed and so um you miss a lot of it online so i was actually really excited to go in store and film so um here is the try on portion i hope you guys enjoy it and uh maybe get some ideas clouds and thunders standing in my way Try to figure it out anyway. By the way, the leggings or jeans I'm wearing are actually the toured ones I hauled recently, and you guys have been loving them too. I'm so glad. Um, the this first item is this beautiful lipstick shirt. I love this. I've been wanting it for months and just have not bought it. And trying it on person just convinced me. It's so cute. It's very like traditional cut, but I think it looks beautiful on a plus size body. Um, it flows right over my tummy. Um, the buttons are workable, so if I do want to open them up and show a little bit more skin, I can. If not, I mean it's perfectly fine the way it is. But you know, that's nice. Um, I got this in a size one. I definitely would probably keep it in a size one. Um, this was $38.90 and I feel like it was perfect. I loved it. This shirt I also really really loved. I thought it was really beautiful but for whatever reason I think it definitely does look better on camera. In person there was just something about it that I didn't think looked as flattering but on camera it looks so much better. <laughs> um, this was actually in the clearance section, so I do recommend trying it on if you find it in your local Tords clearance. It is super beautiful. I love the high-low. Once again, Tords details with this like little lace trim around the bust line. The buttons uh, are usable. Um, I think it's really pretty. It's perfect with jeans. It's perfect for, with longer shorts, leggings. I think this is a really versatile piece. You could wear it with a cardigan. You could wear it without one. I just, it's really, really beautiful. Um, and it was only around $28 or so. I just, for whatever reason, in person there was something about it that I didn't like and I can't remember why um, but I do actually on camera it looks great so I would recommend this one and like I said this was in a size one and it was $31.98 um, but buy one get one free in the clearance section you guys were so right about that checking that out um, this is another top that I was really having my eye on online, but a lot of the comments said it was just ill-fitting, and they were right. It just fits really weird around the bust. It goes really low in, like, the armpit region, um, and as you can see, kind of the straps don't sit flush with my body and on my boobs, but I feel like if I got a bigger size, it would be way too big, too. Like, it's just, it was a weird fitting top. I really love anything citrus and lemon and oranges, anything like that. It always gets me. Um, but for whatever reason, this just didn't work. And I was really sad because it was absolutely adorable. And I think it's really nice and lightweight for um, spring and summertime, but it just did not fit nicely over my bust. And it was um, $38.90 full price and a size one and just wasn't, absolutely wasn't worth that price. Um, 
in my opinion. I feel like maybe if you have a smaller bust size, it may work a little bit better. Now, if you guys remember in my very first Torah try on haul, I tried this top on and I loved it. Unfortunately, they only had it in a size 2, which was too big for me. It doesn't look extraordinarily big in person, but uh, or on camera, but in person there's a lot of excess fabric, especially around the bust line area and on the sides. It's still very cute, and I think it would work great for a maternity shirt, but the original size I tried it on, which was either a 0 or a 1, just had a perfect fit, and I feel like this one just didn't hold it. Um, it's still beautiful. It looks like Ariel. If you can find it in your clearance, section. I absolutely recommend it. I love it, but I just wish it was a size smaller, and I would have absolutely gotten it. Um, but like I said, maternity would have been perfect for it. So if any of you plus size mamas are expecting, check it out, because uh, I think it would be perfect for maternity. And this was on sale for $27.98, and that was in a size 2. Um, so I normally wear a size 1, sometimes a size 0. And if something runs small, a size 2. So I'm kind of like in the mix there. But typically, I would get a size 1 in everything. This was actually a size 0. It is a swimsuit cover-up. Um, and obviously, it looks very weird over my jeans and my bra. But it's really, really beautiful. I think this is a beautiful swimsuit cover-up. It's made of mesh, but it's a very high-quality mesh. Like, I don't think it's going to snag really easily. It feels really nice on the body. It's not itchy. It's lightweight. I would personally wear this with shorts and a tank top underneath, or like a black cami, because I love that look. I don't even know how often I would even use this for a swimsuit cover-up, but I think that this is really versatile, and you could get a lot of different uses out of it. Um, even just putting like a black slip underneath. I don't know. There's a lot of ways you can do it. A back black bralette. It's just so pretty. Um, I like how long it is and how it easily covers your bum and so you feel nice and covered but it still like has that sexiness because it's mesh. This wasn't a size zero but it was really pricey. It was $48.90 which for me was just way too much for something that I didn't know how often I would use um, but I do think it's stunning. Now this dress is so pretty. If you have, if you're going to um, church for Easter or if you have baby showers or bridal showers or baptisms or anything like that coming up, this is a beautiful dress for it. I think that it's modest. I bet I could even get it even higher than the way it was. Um, the straps were adjustable. It's nice and long. It's midi length. It's so spring and just light and airy and beautiful. The top layer is actually chiffon and so it kind of gives this hazy dreamy look to it. It's really really stunning. I am just really pale and I feel like it washed me out a bit. So I feel like if you have a bit deeper of a skin tone than I do, which is most people because I'm freaking white as paste, but um, <laughs> then I think this would look stunning on you. Um, it was really, really, really pretty. And it was $44.90, which for the price, I actually was pretty, or for the dress, I was pretty pleasantly surprised because I think it was worth that price. Absolutely. Now, this um, bralette, uh, the cashier was wearing, and it was like peeking out of the top of her shirt, and it looked so pretty. And she told me it was in a clearance section, and I immediately ran and found it. Now, this was in a size one, and I absolutely would have had to size up. It definitely runs small, in my opinion. It is stunning. I really liked it, but I don't think they actually had it in a size 2, otherwise I would have tried it on. I really like it. I think this could have been really pretty, like peeking out of tank tops and different blouses. It would have been nice with a boudoir, but I don't think they had it in a size 2. So if you do see this, I would recommend sizing up, um, but it was 20 98 20 something, something around there. <laughs> Now this dress is the grand finale, if you will. It is absolutely beautiful. I had to have it. Now it was definitely pricier. It was $88, which is crazy, but the quality is absolutely there. I think it is stunning. Um, I w Once again, towards details with the buttons and there's mesh panel right under the boobs as well as right down there in the legs. Just gives a nice little peek and see-throughness, breaks up the pattern. Um, it's long and weighty so it adds like just this extra flair and swing when you move naturally. It's just so pretty. Um, this was completely sold out on the website so I knew when I saw it in store I had to try it on and I was just convinced from then on. There is a back um, elasticized panel so there is a bit more stretch in the bust and back area 
but honestly, I have really nothing bad to say about this dress. It'll be perfect for my weddings coming up and uh, graduation parties and Easter. Um, I think it's modest, but still is beautiful and feminine. Um, it is a bit longer. It, I'm 5'5", five five, just about there, um, and you guys ask me that all the time, and it definitely hits the ground as you can tell, but with wedges, I think it will be perfectly fine. I'm so happy with this dress. I highly recommend, but like I said, it was a pretty penny at $88, and I did get it in a size 1. Alright, so I ended up finishing off with um, the yellow dress and the lipstick top. I loved both of them. It was buy one get one half off and I knew I was already going to get the yellow dress. I think it'll be perfect for Easter and I have a couple of um, graduation parties and weddings and stuff to go to soon so I knew that it'd be a good option for that as well. So I knew I was going to get that but I really love the lipstick top. I've been putting it in my card and taking it out for a couple of like months now and so I just decided to bite the bullet and get it. It's so cute and you guys know I love makeup and I had to have it. So I got both those items. <laughs> I got both those items and I'm really happy with them so far. Um, and I'm really glad I went in. So I know this video is kind of like recent since I just did a try on one, but I decided that I wanted to kind of tell you what I ended up deciding with those last items anyway, and um, just to show you some more stuff that they have right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. It would mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button and joined our little family. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys.